This video is for Module 4, Lesson 5, and the objective is to solve word problems involving the division of whole numbers with answers in the form of fractions or whole numbers, and this lesson covers Standard 5, NF3. Let's look at this word problem together. This word problem comes off of the homework sheet uh, from Lesson 5. So it says, when someone donated 14 gallons of paint to Rosendale Elementary School, the fifth grade decided to use it to paint murals. They split the gallons equally among the four classes. Now, when you look at a word problem, I want you to think of this. Can you draw something? What can you draw? And what conclusion can you make from your drawing? Well, when I read this word problem, the part that sticks out to me is where it says they split the gallons equally among the four classes. When it says it's splitting it equally, I know that I have to divide. What can I draw? I can use what I know from my previous lessons and I can draw a tape measure. Now this tape measure is going to equal 14 gallons. Now it says how much paint did each class have to paint their mural? So I know there are four classes, so I'm going to partition my tape measure into four fourths. And I need to find out what one fourth or one unit is equal to. So I can say that these four units equal 14 gallons. Okay, there's one, two, three, four units, and they equal 14 gallons. I need to figure out what one unit equals. So I can say that 14 divided by 4 would equal that one unit. Now another way to write 14 divided by 4 is to write it as a fraction, where 14 is your numerator and 4 is your denominator. Now there's two different ways to solve it. This is an improper fraction, and I need to convert it to a mixed number. So I can take my 14 fourths, and you can have the 14 dive into the water. 4 goes into 14 3 times. 3 times 4 is 12. When I subtract, I get 2. And so my answer is 3 and 2 fourths. Now you could also say to yourself, well, how many times does 4 go into 14 without going over? And I know that would be 3 and there will be two left over. Now when I look at three and two fourths, I always want to say, can I reduce that number? Is that in simplest form? And I can actually reduce the two fourths. I know that two times one equals two, and I know that two times two equals four. I can cross out my like numbers and I'm left with one half. So three and two fourths is equal to three and a half. So I can say that one unit is equal to three and a half gallons. Three and a half. This one would be three and a half. And that one would be three and a half. Now let's look at part B. Part B says, how much paint will three classes use? Show your thinking using words, numbers, or pictures. Now I'm going to use the information that I found in part A to help me with part B. So here's the key here. Three classes. I know that one class used three and a half gallons. So if I need to find out how many three classes used, I'm going to take that three and a half and I'm going to add it three times. Now this is a really nice addition problem because the denominator is already the same. So I don't have to find a common denominator. I can just add. So I'm going to add my whole numbers. Three plus three plus three gives me nine. My numerator is one plus one plus one gives me three and my denominator stays the same. So I have nine and three halves, but this three halves is what? That's an improper fraction. I need to convert it to a mixed number. So I'm going to bring my nine down. I'm going to write three halves. My three goes diving into the water. Two goes into three one time. One times two is two. When I subtract, I get one, so I have one and a half. So I need to add that together. 9 plus 1 and a half gives me 10 and a half gallons. So the three classes together would use 10 and a half gallons of paint.